Add bamboo quality remote monitoring with the BeagleCam V2. Welcome to Print Start 3D and today we're going to be looking at the BeagleCam V2. This package was sent to me by Minchin and I wasn't paid to say anything or make this video or anything like that. They just sent me this product to review and show you guys how it works. So like I said, this is the BeagleCam V2. And I have the Beagle Cam V1 right here, the original mentioned Beagle Cam. It's also a remote control monitoring camera as well. Let's open the box. Comes in a nice box. We got the quick guide manual here for the Beagle Cam V2. I'll look at that in a second. We have some nice mention stickers. With a cute little Beagle Cam dog on it. That's pretty cute. I like those. And here we have the actual camera itself. And there's a lot of new features for this camera. It's got a 1080p camera. It has now features the manual focus lens. And it's got a tripod threading mount right here. Holds an SD card. You have the power, it's a USB-C. You have a USB plug-in here for to connect to your 3D printer. And you have LED indicators right here. So you know when you're connected to your Wi-Fi and your printer. There is now a reset button on this device. So no more getting a little pin and pushing it through a hole. There's a button now. So don't accidentally press that button. Um, and this is new, you have a data out USB-C right here so that's new here's the original Beagle Cam V1 and here's the Beagle Cam V2 and you can see just how more refined the version 2 is I'm pretty impressed actually I really enjoyed using the Beagle Cam V1 um, I'm, I used it mainly on my Prusa Mark 3S Plus it is compatible with over 100 different kinds of 3D printers. And if you want to see if your printer is compatible with this camera, I'll link it down below and you'll be taken to the website link. But let's finish with this unboxing here. Let's get more into the box. Take out the cardboard. We got a power brick to power the camera. And a USB to USB-C to connect power to the camera. And we got some stuff in the box. All right, comes with this nice little tripod with a little threaded mount on there. Comes with this um, attachment piece for the tripod. All right, that's really nice. They included a tripod on this model. The original Beagle Cam never came with a tripod. This is probably to plug into other 3D printers, I'm guessing, because my my Prusa uses the USB 2.0. This is this specific end here to plug into the Beagle Cam V2. My Ender 3 V2 printer, however, by Creality, may use this US, micro USB cable. We don't need that micro USB cable right now because we're going to be using this on the Prusa. We got that Beagle Cam V2, the power brick, we have the cable, the tripod. So there's the unboxing. It was pretty simple. And now we are going to set it up with my Prusa. All right, here's a quick look at the Minchin Beagle Cam V2 Quick Guide Manual. And I'm going to show you guys this. So if you want to pause it and read it, you totally can. Shows you the packing list, the camera introduction here. It shows you all the different. It shows you a diagram of the different parts of the of the camera. Here's the installation bracket, and the next page is the setup for the Beagle Cam app. So this actually has an application on your smartphone which you can monitor and remote control your 3D printer and you can upload files and G-code and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Here's the next page telling you about the first use of the product, telling you how to set it up as well. 
Here's the next page. Tells you a little bit more information. Here's a little bit more information about logging in to the web page version of the application. And there's some customer support and more information. And there's some other stuff here. Here's the specifications for the BeagleCam V2. Video compression is H.264 or MJPEG. The video resolution is upgraded to 1080p. Night, night vision, we got it on there. Frame rate is up to 25 FPS. It does have an auto time lapse video feature. Wi Fi connectivity, it supports 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz now. The compatibility is with Marlin 3D printers, and you connect to the printer via USB cable. It stores files on the micro SD card. The power source is a USB C that plugs into the wall, and the lens, the focus lens, is adjustable through a manual knob, and it has a 1 4th inch screw for a tripod. Today we have my Prusa Mark 3S Plus inside of my IKEA LAC enclosure and on top we got the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon printing away so if you hear anything it is going to be that. We're going to connect to this printer so first we have to unload our filament here and if you do notice this is some fused 3D filament that I've had up here for a long time and the humidity is getting to this roll and you can tell it's snapped apart and it's getting really all brittle and gross. So I'm probably gonna have to dehydrate that. But right now, let's preheat this printer to unload the filament. So press that, click preheat, PLA. It's gonna go to 215C and then we're gonna unload the filament. Let's unload the filament. There we go. We're gonna be trying out these time lapses with some pink Kinlu PLA. My first time using a pink roll of PLA filament. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that pink. It looks like ice cream or cotton candy or something. It looks really nice. That's pretty cool. And now let's get it up on the printer. And push. Cool. We're going to insert that into the 3D printer. It's going to automatically load the filament in. It's a nice feature of the Prusa Mark 3S Plus is the automatic filament feeder. There we go. We got some pink coming out of there. We're going to download the Beagle Cam app on my phone here. Beagle Camera. And you can just search for Beagle Cam, install, and there we go. We're downloading the Beagle Cam app. It shouldn't take too long to download. While it's downloading, we're going to plug in the camera into the wall. So let's take off the little Velcro strap for the, for the USB-C cable. And we're going to plug it in to the power brick just like so. So now we're gonna plug this into the wall and then wait for the voice prompt. All right, I'm plugging it in right now and I'll try to keep it near so you can hear the voice prompt. So I just plugged it in for the first time. The power light, or the printer uh, light is red right now. And we're gonna wait for this guy to say something to us. Camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. All right, so the camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. So once it's plugged in, after you plug it in for the first time, just set it to the side. And now you're gonna open, click open on your Beagle Cam app. And we're gonna need to log in here, so let me log in. Select this plus icon to add a new camera. We're gonna select the Beagle Cam V2 and we're gonna do QR scan configuration. 
and now it's gonna tell you to plug in the camera and then wait for one minute and click on yes I heard the voice and my Wi-Fi there we go now connect to your Wi-Fi all right after you connect to your Wi-Fi point your beagle cam at this QR code on your smartphone and you'll hear a beep sound just like that I heard the prompt click next and we're gonna connect to the network here through our Wi-Fi and it might take up to 90 seconds for this process so just stay patient alright successfully connected to the Wi-Fi so here on the top we have our Beagle Cam V1. On the bottom is our new Beagle Cam V2. Let's go to the next page. Before we plug in to the printer, we have to set it up on the app. All right, so click on your Beagle camera, go into the settings in the bottom corner. And now we're gonna select the 3D printer that we wanna connect to. We want to connect to the Prusa Mark 3S Plus. Find Prusa Mark 3S Plus, there we go, and click Save. There we go. Now we can use this to connect to the 3D printer. We're gonna mount the Beagle Cam V2 onto the tripod that it came with. Just twist that up. There we go. Loosen that guy up just a little bit. And now we got a tripod mount. Let's open that up and tighten that and we're just gonna set it off to the side for now now connect it up so let's get the USB 2.0 this is gonna connect right here in the back of the Prusa if you have the Creality Ender 3 V2 it's gonna connect to the front micro USB port so let's get this side to the camera And now we can connect this side to the 3D printer. All right, so we're connected. Now we can see the camera on the app. And let's press connect. So we're gonna be on that same screen here. Just click connect. Your printer will actually restart itself. And now we are connected as it says disconnect. So basically, that's all you have to do to set up the Beagle Cam. It's fully set up now. On this app, you can check the temperature. You can even move the in remote control the 3D printer. You can auto home. You can turn on the fans. You can extrude filament. You can change the Z offset. You can lock and unlock the steppers. You can do everything with this app. You can upload G code and click that. You get all of your time lapse videos here. And I'll show you how to set that up in a moment, but we're going to keep going through the instructions. Now, this is for setting up the Beagle Cam web page. Um, this is so if you want to turn it, if you want to monitor on your PC, all you do is go to settings, go to settings in the top corner, click on camera information, and I probably shouldn't. I'm not sure if I should show you that stuff. So I'll show you on the paper. After you click on camera information, you find the IP address. Copy and paste that IP address into Chrome. It'll take you to a web page that looks like this here. Your account name will be admin, and your password will also be admin. And once you click log in, it'll bring you to the web page version of the Beagle Cam monitoring application entire book that is the entire setup of the beagle cam so now let's get it actually let's print something and make a time lapse so how do you set up the focus because you have to manually focus this this camera here so you're gonna grab an object you can use any object I'm using this little 3d printed dog which you can find on printstart3d.com and I'm gonna place it in the middle just like that and I'm gonna have it open. I'm gonna be watching the camera on my on my phone here. And we're gonna adjust the lens manually. Alright, so when we twist the lens here, you can see you can see now it's really blurry 
and when we twist the other way it's gonna get more clear more clear more clear until it gets blurry again so you're gonna have to rotate this dial until the object in the middle is clear just like that that's pretty good we're gonna make it a little bit more clear oh I just turned on the night vision mode so yeah there's the night vision mode I just covered the sensor and it turned on the night vision mode that's pretty cool let me see how good I can get it here okay we're gonna say about right there that's pretty good and also we're gonna bring over some light All right, let's refocus now that we added light. You shouldn't have to focus this camera very often. You really just have to set it up once and you should be good. So there we go. Now let's go to the PC and upload a file. So here we are on the desktop version of the app and I'm gonna show you guys the time-lapse setting. So go to settings, time-lapse video, and you can set up the different time-lapse modes here. So you got clean time-lapse, normal time-lapse, UV time-lapse, or timer video, time-lapse video, like a regular time-lapse video camera. You can set up all the different settings here. The most important here is probably the retraction length. Uh, I keep that at five millimeter, or sorry, I'll do three millimeter for the Prusa. And you can actually, change um, because the bed goes into a position every time it takes a picture for the clean time-lapse video the clean time-lapse video is where you have the time-lapse generate with the tool head off to the side so it looks like your 3d print is just coming out of thin air basically the normal time-lapse video is where you can still see the print head above the object um, but I think honestly you could keep all these default except for retraction length I would check on that um, but yeah, let's save it and we're gonna do the video MJPEG Because it is higher video quality as well and you go to dashboard and Click on printable file list and you can upload any file here and I uploaded my baby dragon model and I already have one on the print bed because Because I was just checking to make sure it was in focus here so there we go, now it's gone. Um, we're gonna press print, load and print. And, and, oh, new firmware. Okay, we're gonna wait on that. And so I got the nice pink PLA for the first time. We're gonna go with the baby dragon time-lapse. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. A time-lapse is created after taking a photo of each layer. And there it is. As you see, it just took a photo of the layer. It took a photo of that first layer there, and it looks pretty nice. All right, I just printed the baby dragon model that you can find on my Colts 3D page. This is made with Kinlu Pink PLA, and it was a little bit stringy, but I cleaned it up a little bit with a lighter. And here is the Beagle Cam V2. It did a really good job with the time lapse. I kind of knocked into it a little bit, so you can see that in the video. Um, just make sure you don't move the camera around while it's doing the time lapse, or it will look won't look as good. The Prusa did a good job on this model as well. You can see how smooth it is. And the, my first time using a pink roll of PLA, so it's pretty awesome. recording a time lapse with the beagle cam I'm printing another baby dragon with the Kinlu pink PLA this time I'm mounting the beagle cam at a different angle you can see I got the green tape on the bed I haven't cleaned this bed in months with this green tape on here everything sticks to it first try I have no adhesion problems and I don't have to clean it and it's pretty cool so that's why I got the green tape on there
and I'm going at this with a different angle. Actually, I have I have the beagle cam. On, I have the beagle cam on its side right now. Having the beagle cam rotated at 90 degrees enables me to have a different aspect ratio suitable for Instagram posts or TikTok posts, and that would be the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So that's what you see right here in this video. That's why it's cropped all weird. Um, but the camera's actually just flipped 90 degrees, or sorry, rotated 90 degrees. The original aspect ratio will be 16 by 9, which is like the widescreen aspect ratio, which is suitable for YouTube videos. So depending on which type of video you want to make, um, you can rotate the camera accordingly. Here is another 1080p time-lapse video that I created. This is a model that I'm printing that is a dragon can holder for your soda cans or 12-ounce cans. I'll put the link down to, to the page where I found it. Um, but this is the 16 by 9 aspect ratio camera. Um, this is just the regular position of the camera. I'm not rotating it or tilting it. And that will give you the 16 by 9 instead of the 9 by 16 suitable for Instagram. This is much more suitable for a YouTube video, as you can see here. Let me know if you have any questions down below about the Beagle Cam V2. There is going to be a link in my bio to get 5 bucks off on the pre-order of the Mention Beagle Cam. Thank you so much to Mention for sending me the Beagle Cam V2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make it, and using the Beagle Cam was really easy. It only took like 10-15 minutes to actually set it up. So it's definitely easy to use, and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a time-lapse remote monitoring camera. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video on the Beagle Cam V2. I also do have a Beagle Cam V1, and I would definitely say this one is the one to get if you're looking to get something like, like a remote monitoring camera. Um, it's 1080p, it's got the tripod mount, like the V1 doesn't even have like a mount, it's got this weird camera mount with like a, with like a little rotating stand. It's not bad, it's not bad, but the quality could be better on the V1. The V2 on the other hand, it's way more refined, it's compact, it's got extra features, better camera, it's got the tripod mount, manual focus lens, so you can like focus it however you need it, um, because this one you actually have to take apart to focus the camera, which is kind of insane. So I'm glad they fixed that on the Minchin Beagle Cam V2. Um, it's got little sensors on the front, and it's got night vision mode and everything. Um, you can do full remote monitoring on this camera, and you can upload G-code files, and you can even like home your printer, you can move it in the XYZ positions, and all of that. I use it on my Prusa Mark 3S Plus, and I just printed out this baby dragon. I'll put the time lapse of it. I kind of knocked into the camera a little bit. Um, that kind of messes up the time lapse, but here we go with the pink Kenlu filament. Uh, this one came out really smooth on the Prusa. It's pretty nice. Uh, it was a little stringy at first, but I cleaned it up with a lighter. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, check out my Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram, and I'll see you there.